y'all. You know, I really, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but um, if you're looking for a man, just know that um, the reason you can't find him, a black man specifically, is because he's in Columbia already. He's in Columbia already, y'all. So this is this is the first time I've come to Columbia, like like post pandemic. Um, so like seeing it, it's like form of like what the um what the numbers are looking like. And when I tell you that my whole flight was full of single, it was full of black men traveling with other black men. They come into Columbia, baby. That's why you can't find them. They're all here. So a lot of my followers uh, saw my video about the passport bros in Colombia, and were basically saying like, oh, when I was there, black men wouldn't even acknowledge me. They wouldn't look in my general direction. They wouldn't speak at all. Um, and I had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of followers saying that. That has not been my personal experience. Last night I went to dinner. I saw two guys, they both spoke. They were actually kind of like, you know, moderately flirtatious. Um, I've seen, you know, some other men and they've kind of like barely, you know, like, you know, it, it, it's very much giving like, girl, don't, don't look too, too much. You don't need to see all this. Um, but you know, I, it, it's been a mixed bag for me. I wouldn't say that every man that I've seen hasn't spoken, but I'm also going to be honest and say that for the number of men that I saw in the airport and especially in a place like this, because it's small, the wall city is small, Hexamani is small, you know, the weather the weather's been bad so i haven't done a, a boat trip yet i'm sure there will be lots of people you know doing boat trips but um for the amount of black men that i saw in the airport i have not seen a fraction of them in the street and and just so you understand how small it is i was at dinner last night and there was about seven girls on my flight they all were having dinner you know, at the table behind me. So it's very common to just be bumping into people. Um, that was even my experience on my last trip. So yeah. If you watched my last video, I was speaking to the amount of black men that are currently in Cartagena. So just to be clear, what made this very interesting to me, and this is not my first time in Cartagena. However, my first time in Cartagena was during the pandemic. And so it just wasn't nearly as busy. So this was my first time experiencing Colombia. I think in a more um, realistic form of just what, you know, the average flight consists of. And it was a extremely large amount of black men. And for reference, I'm a full-time travel content creator, which means I am traveling all around the world, often on flights all the time. And I can honestly say that it is very rare for me to see a large number of black men on a flight that I'm on. It is very, 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 very rare. So to arrive and have a flight full of men, uh, but also to see other flights full of men, and the customs line was crazy long. So when I say that um, there were black men everywhere, I literally mean there were black men everywhere. But what, what was the most jarring to me is the realization that I think there's a lot of discourse on the internet and there's a lot of people that are like, oh, it's just dusties, it's just broke men, it's just men that other women wouldn't date. I saw lots of very attractive men. I saw lots of men who looked like they had means. They, you know, they looked like they had their stuff together. They were, they were dressed well, they had good luggage. Like th these were not men that you're just like, oh girl, nobody wants them. Um, and so for me, the, the, the video really just came from the actual shock of, oh, y'all really be outside with it. Y'all are really coming to Colombia, and this is the type of time that you're on. And I say that because I didn't just see men like, okay, cool. Like you're, you're, you're going to Colombia with your homeboys. What was the most shocking to me as, as I was waiting for my Uber, there were women in club dresses picking up men. And the time was very much like, oh, you've been here before, but it's your homeboy's first time. And he, and she brought somebody for him. And that had me like, oh, okay. And, you know, I see, I see that there's a lot of commentary about uh, what black women look like or people's shapes and sizes. And yes, like some of the Colombian women that I've seen are beautiful and some of them are mid and some of them are not. Um, and I think women all over the world look different ways and have different body types. And so it's super fascinating to me, um, the energy that is just rooted in, oh, well, 
you know, the reason why black men are going to Columbia is because black women are not desirable. That's wild and egregious. Uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, but also too, I will I will say as a woman who's been in Colombia, I also feel like the energy of men here is just predatory. I was at dinner last night and a table full of men came up to uh, myself and, and the two girls that I was having dinner with. And the energy was very much like, what's up with it? come through we we have we got a boat tomorrow and these weren't black men these were these were uh men from mexico men from north carolina who were white men uh and men from other parts of um uh south america and the energy was very much just like we're here for a good time not a long time um and i and i feel like you know that is the energy of men traveling to colombia and what's even more interesting is that all the black men that i saw at the airport I ain't seen none of them in the streets. And I would only assume that's because they laying down somewhere. These niggas are lame, yo. Like, the men that are like actually amazing entrepreneurs and educated and financially, you know, lit. Y'all are lame, like, for real. And you know what? And, and people not, I say what I want and I do what I want, respectfully. So I'm just like, the message is really for them. Like, I salute you, King. Like, I'm proud of you. But you was so lame coming up that now you're somebody and you're leading with that. And a lot of these guys are leading with it wrong. Each one teach one. Like, I'm putting people on. Like, you a pretty girl. You might not have the best confidence. Y'all putting us all together. We gonna boost you up. We gonna make you like, come on. Like, I give away free mentorship all the time. Even know it costs but when god puts it on my heart i'm giving grace and i think a lot of these guys are just like you know like their insecurity showing they're hiding behind their activity i think it's such a blessing being a girl because like i just be thinking when i'm at my internship like oh if i dead don't like corporate like for the rest of my life i could just start posting on instagram like crazy get a rapper probably get cheated on but you get the clout, then use the clout to start your own YouTube channel. Then people keep on watching you, trying to see if you still back with old boy. And that's the backup plan for a lot of girls. I'm just saying it out loud. When it comes to black women, we are the only ones who are constantly being told to accept less. We're asking you to be realistic about what it is that you qualify for. A lot of you have bring a high body count, a bad attitude, a masculine demeanor to the table. Not to mention a lot of you have kids that you had out of wedlock. And that's what you want to give us men. And then on top of you talking about you can't deal with a man that makes $50,000 a year, you need at least 100000 Well, do the math, baby. If you bring fifty and he brings fifty, then you have $100,000 a year to work with. So, you not only bring all of those bad qualities to the table and an unrealistic expectation with it, you also lack loyalty. So be realistic about what it is that you qualify for. That's what we're asking you to do. I'm back and I got another message for black men. There's 40 million black women in Latin America. Stop thinking black women only come from Hackney, Brixton, Halston and Croydon. You brothers are still taking some of these UK and American women on these 300 and 400 pound dates. Stop being a dummy with your money. Book a flight to the Dominican Republic, Brazil or Colombia. Find you a nice, feminine, cooperative, attractive woman and rock with that. If you're still dating in the UK or the US in 2023, Nine times out of ten, you're getting a bad deal. This date was at a fancy restaurant, Oceanside. Total cost, thirty pounds. Things you can learn from men. Also, things that I admire about men. They are selfish and they'll do anything to get what they want, and I really like that. They stand on their boundaries. They do not change it for no one. They won't sit here and try and fix and change somebody. They'll just get another person. It might not be a better person, but they'll still not tolerate it and get another person. They are their number one priorities. They will always put themselves first. They do not date with or for potential. They judge you based on who you are today. Do you want to see me? Do you want to see me, yes or no? Hello? Do you want to see me?